Principiantes B, página 118. Paper. Before paper was invented, people wrote on materials such as stone, clay tablets, and parchment. But none of these writing surfaces worked very well. Stone was difficult to carve. Clay tablets were heavy to carry around, and parchment was expensive to make. Around AD 105 or 105, a Chinese man by the name of Cao Lung invented a much better writing surface, paper. It is believed that Cao Lung used the bark of trees and old rags to make paper. His paper was light, easy to write on, and cheap to make. The Chinese kept the invention of paper a secret for several hundred years, but eventually people in other parts of the world learned the art of paper making. Paper was a very important invention because it provided a way to record information easily and cheaply. With paper, people could more easily make copies of written information. This made it possible to communicate ideas and information to a larger number of people. Today, there are more than 7,000 different kinds of paper. Much of this paper is used for written communication. But we also use it to make paper products like cardboard boxes and paper plates. The plow. Thousands of years ago, people discovered that plants grow better in soil that has been loosened. For a long time, farmers used sharp sticks, rocks, and other objects to loosen the soil. Then about 8,000 years ago, someone in the Middle East came up with the idea for a plow. These early plows were simple fork sticks pulled by a person. About 1,000 years later, people began using oxen to pull simple plows. Today, many farmers use tractors to pull huge plows. The plow was a very important invention because it allowed people to farm more land and grow more food because farmers could grow more food. Fewer people died of starvation. The microscope. A microscope magnifies things or makes them look larger. The simplest kind of microscope is a magnifying glass which has one convex lens. More than a thousand years ago, people used water-filled glass globes and rock crystals as magnifying glasses. Then, in the 1300s, people learned how to make more powerful lenses. They used these lenses to make eyeglasses. In the 1600s, Anton van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch merchant, found a way to make an even better lens. His lens could magnify things more than 200 times their natural size. In 1674, Leeuwenhoek, using a single lens microscope, was the first person to observe bacteria, very small organisms. The invention of the microscope made it possible for scientists to learn how certain bacteria cause disease and infection. With this knowledge, scientists were able to look for ways to stop the spread of disease. Millions and millions of lives were saved because of the microscope. Esta lectura fue traída a ustedes por asesoriasacademicas.com.mx.